Welcome to Smart Remarks, where the culture wars are back, as if they ever really went away. So two weeks ago on this program, we talked about how if Newt Gingrich was the Republican presidential nominee, he was hardly a credible spokesperson for family values, and so maybe the culture war would be less of an issue in this year's election. Silly me. Since then, Newt has started to fade, and several new fronts have opened in the culture war. You had the Susan G. Komen Foundation withdrawing a grant from Planned Parenthood, uh, which many on the left saw as a result of political pressure from the right. Komen ultimately backed down, and the executive who made the decision resigned and went straight to Fox News so she could express her outrage. You have the controversy over the new health care law and the fact that it requires some religious affiliated uh, institutions such as hospitals, charities, and schools, think Notre Dame University, to provide health insurance that covers contraception. The Catholic Church is outraged about this, and the bishops are talking about organizing a huge march on Washington. You had a federal appeals court in California overturning Proposition 8, the measure that makes same-sex uh, marriage illegal, calling it unconstitutional. And then you had this organization calling itself One Million Moms, demanding that J.C. Penney fire its newest spokesperson, Ellen DeGeneres, because Ellen is homosexual. And obviously we can't have a homosexual shilling for a department store. And on and on and on it goes. And so we see the counter what we said last time around. The culture war is back. It's bigger than ever. It may be a bigger thing than it was in 2008, as if that's possible. What we're seeing certainly looks like a coordinated assault by the right. Uh, it may or may not be that. But regardless of what's happening in the economy, it seems we're fated to spend all of 2012 screaming at one another about homosexuality, about abortion, about contraception. And here's where this whole thing goes off the rails. If you've been following the GOP primary, you might know that a resurgent Rick Santorum has talked about, quote, the dangers of contraception in this country. Quote, many of, many of the Christian faith have said, well, that's okay, contraception is okay. It's not okay. It's a license to do things in a sexual realm that is counter to how things are supposed to be, unquote. Think about this. We're actually at the point where, as a society, we're debating the morality of birth control itself, where a leading presidential candidate will tell you how things are supposed to be in your bedroom. What is this, 1920? You know, the way the Republicans are going to go about this, John, the likes of John Boehner may try to frame the issue narrowly and talk about how, no, he doesn't like the health care law and that it requires the Catholic Church to provide contraception. But ultimately, this is driven and being aimed at people who agree with Sanform, cultural extremists. While the most important issues this year remain economic, the divide between the 1% and the 99% and how we might restore a more equal society, now instead we're going to fight about morality. And that's exactly what the 1% want, don't you think? But I'll tell you one thing. I've been critical of Obama on this program and I will continue to be, but if faced with a choice between cultural extremism on the right and Obama, guess which way I'm going to go. I may wind up getting my pocket picked yet again, but I tell you what, I'd much prefer to have it picked than to have it picked and to have Rick Santorum looking over my shoulder in the bedroom.